Um, what got you uh, into acting? Oh, wow. Okay, so, well, first, it, number one is comedy. Okay. And if you're from D.C., you know comedy is not that big of a deal for us. D.C. is comedy. You know, if you grew up, I'm, I, I, I'm originally from D.C. Uh, I grew up in my earliest years on Bryant Street Northeast. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's over there by Rhode Island Avenue. And that's what we grew up doing. We grew up sitting on the porch talking about each other's mamas. And I feel like we had, or I think we had a grasp on that at one time. But I think we we kind of lost control of that. Like, because everybody is, is butthurt about everything now. You know, if you gay, for instance, with this whole Dave Chappelle situation going on right now. Okay. It, 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 it makes people uncomfortable sometimes. Like, I'm, I'm gay. I know that when people first hear that, that might make some people uncomfortable. Kirk Franklin, his son, in that situation. You know, everyone was putting their two cents in it. But I'm like, I, I've seen Kirk Franklin um, when I was doing security for an event. And, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, everybody do they don't realize that you know he's a he's a man at the end of the day you know what i'm saying so as a, a, a gospel singer he's not a preacher or anything but you know he's he's who we're he human. has to be we don't know everything when you're able to laugh at something when you're able to look at something and make a joke a joke out of it that allows your brain the bandwidth to be able to start processing it even if you don't understand it, if you can laugh at it, that allows you to be able to look at it and acknowledge the reality of what's going on. Which I think is healthy because life is going to throw you some curveballs. And we have really, it's insane the way we have gotten away.